I will always love the the drive back to Los Angeles in, in the at the end of the first hangover where we get the tuxedos thrown out of the van. Oh yeah, we catch them and we're all like, hanging out of the convertible. Yeah, that was, I was driving. You were driving yeah, for real. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and and. It, it was they shut down like five miles of freeway yeah, in, in like rural California somewhere, and it was so fun to shoot and just it, that was the first time I as an actor felt like this is kind of badass. Like I'm part right. of something cool and actiony because all I'd done is just dumb comedy stuff. <laughs> also, the fact that we were able we were all together for both elections. You know, both Tuesday nights were one. We were in bait. We it's true. It was the hospital scene and, and the first one, and then this one. It was the um, it was the it was the hotel, Chow's hotel, right? Uh, we were here in Caesar's Palace, wasn't it? The Chow's hotel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we went to uh, we went to like some political event that night. Oh, you did. To That's watch right. The returns oh, man, come yeah. in, and so that was pretty crazy was to cool. be there. Both, yeah. Be shooting Hangover both both times Obama was elected. The funniest joke, though, for me in the three in the three of them is in the third one, and I won't ruin it. But uh, there, that Ed does that makes me laugh the hardest. It's insane. I mean, it, it just it's it's surreal, really. Um, uh, and we're all lucky as hell, and it's not lost on any of us. That's the good thing. I mean, none of us are very young, you know. So I think we're all very grateful. We've all. We've all, like, you know, haven't fallen into this. We've all worked for years, decades, really. And uh, yeah. so that, I really think it happened to all of us uh, at the right time for all of us. And the fact that we had each other uh, has made it very memorable. Yeah, and, and, and it's funny. People ask me, like, is it crazy to just, like, get famous overnight? And, I, and I'm always like, or, or to have, like, a big successful thing overnight? And I always think like, oh, I've been slugging away at this for 20 years. But the, the fact is like, I, these guys work so hard. Todd is such an, everyone's such an inspiration to me. I feel like there's a great ethic yeah. in, in this gang of, of just like, yes, we, we're, the, the movies have, have performed in an unimaginably successful way and that's exciting and we're proud of it. But. I'm also personally, I take a lot of pride in the, in the work ethic that that all, you guys have, we've all put into it, and I think it's, I'm inspired by that. I think uh, uh, what, what makes it good about, when Todd puts that in his movies, um, is that it's fun to see an emotional arc here and there or whatever, um, and, because that also enhances the comedy. What you do is you set up those awe moments and then you hit them with a joke. That's what, that's what that does. And um, yeah, I'm glad that, 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 that those moments are made it in this movie uh, to make it a little bit more Unnecessary, emotional. especially for it to have closure. And have meaning, yeah. you know. If we, if we just glazed over that, it wouldn't be as, as, uh, as uh, cool. And I think it's really because Todd did feel close to these characters, you know, and it, he, it was important to him to end it like that. You know, it was definitely something that he was kind of adamant about wanting it to have heart. 